Greetings everyone. Welcome once again to another edition of Coffee and Conversation. Uh, just a time where we take a brief moment and look at the scriptures and uh, hopefully be inspired and encouraged by the Word of God for this day. It's not a, not a time of great theological debate or discussion. It's simply, let's look at God's Word and see and see what it says to us during the very specific moment in time that we are engaged in. And so today, I trust that the words uh, that I speak and the scripture that we read together will be encouraging to you and an inspiration to you uh, today. Um, I want to share with you from Psalm 51, uh, verses 10 through verse 12. Notice what it says. Psalm 51, verse 10 through verse 12. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a loyal spirit in me. Do not banish me from your presence, and don't take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and make me willing to obey you. I don't know about you, but every year when we go from one year the past year into the new year, it happens to me all the time. I can never remember to write down the numbers of a new year correctly. I always go back to the previous year. So I, this, this last month, this last couple of weeks of this month, I still have a hard time, even though we're in a new year, I have a hard time saying and writing 2021. And certainly, it requires something in me that needs to change. Not only a remembering that we are in a new year, but an adjustment on my part to renew my thinking that the change has happened. We are in a new year. So there's an adjustment that I have to make. But what I really want to talk to you about today is there is a change that needs to transpire in our lives not just when we experience the changing in our calendar from the past year into the new year. We're still the same people predominantly from the past year, from 2020. But there, there's a different kind of change that needs to take place. Uh, something that's not maybe uh, an overnight transformation, but something that maybe would trigger a difference maker where we begin to take small incremental steps along the way where in 2021 we look back and we say something is different about me something has changed in my life and I, I, I literally think it is something that happens on a deeper spiritual level adjustment change newness however you want to describe it I would like to think of it as a spiritual reawakening, that as we move into a new year, that there may be some reawakening that happens in our lives spiritually in 2021. And I think that this is captured by this verse in Psalm 51. Psalm 51, verse 10 through 12, the, the reading that we just did, the creating of a new heart, the clean heart. I don't know about you, but I need that for my life. A heart that's cleansed by God's grace, a new inner spirit, a renewing of my mind, something new, something right. No, notice this. Notice this in these verses that we read just a few moments ago. This kind of renewal isn't something that I muster up. This isn't something that I create. This isn't something that I produce on my own. Only God can create a clean heart. Only God can bring a new spirit within us. And David uses this word in verse 10, create. It's the same word that we find in the very first verse of the Bible. It's the Hebrew word bara. Bara, where God creates. And in the beginning, Genesis, the very first verse, where God creates the heavens and the new earth, this new creation out of nothing. 
It's the same word that is used here by the psalmist David. He is saying, God created me, revolutionize my life, bring something about that is dynamic and fantastic. Bara, create, create in me something new. And that verse or that verb create is used only exclusively in the scriptures to describe God's activity. As God created the heavens and, and the earth in the very beginning, this word create describes again the activity of God in your life and in my life. Not only does God have the power to create a, you know, the universe, but God also has the power to create a new clean heart, a new spirit within you. Now, that doesn't mean that I just kind of sit back and am eliminated from the process and participation of this divine work. No, no, no. In Psalm 51, according to Psalm 51, we participate in this new creating by acknowledging our brokenness, by acknowledging and relying on God's ability to forgive us and to restore us. And then we make a decision to involve ourselves in the practices that helps us grow in this new relationship that we've encountered with God. This divine work that we are participating in. In fact, in verse 19, it talks about making a sacrifice. We will, you will be pleased with sacrifices offered in the right spirit, with burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. It's describing sacrifices in the temple. In other words, for us, this practice toward renewal and new adjustment requires some sacrifice on our part. Now, what would, what would you think a sacrifice would be on your part if you're part of the renewing process that God wants to create in your life? Well, if you think about your present situation, it could be something like, I'm going to sacrifice more time towards prayer. I'm going to take time during the day to be silent, to sit quietly and contemplatively uh, in God's presence. Sacrifice may mean that you take up some time to journal about what God is doing in your life on a daily basis. Or it may be listening to worship music. Or it may be taking some time to study in-depthly and reflect on a Bible study that you may be working on. Uh, maybe it may include scripture memorization. There's so many ways uh, on how we participate in this renewing, this new creation that God wants to create in our lives. I'm just thinking a thought just popped into my mind right now about perhaps involving ourselves in, in doing justice or extending hospitality to people or having an attitude of thankfulness becoming an encourager. I like what Micah chapter 6 verse 8 says, that we are to walk humbly before God. That may be a tremendous sacrifice on our part. Oh people, the, the Bible says in Micah chapter 6 verse 8, oh people, the Lord has told you what to do and what is good. And this is what, requ this is what requires of you. Here's the sacrifice. To do what is right, love mercy, walk humbly before your God. Just some suggestions on what this creation process may look like. And so in these disciplines, though they may not make us instantaneously new, that as we surrender and as we keep our hearts open to the ongoing work of the Holy Spirit of God in our lives in 2020, we can enter and participate in 2021 the celebration as we begin a new year by asking God to work something out in our lives from the inside out. God, what is it that you need to make new in my life today? What is it that I need to embrace? And as I make myself available to the Holy Spirit and sensitive to the Holy Spirit, Lord, 
May you renew something in our hearts, in our lives, that will be pleasing to you. And if there is some wicked way in us, remove it, so that we may truly bring glory to your name this next year. That's my prayer. Psalm 51, verse 10. Create in me a clean heart. Renew. Renew a loyal spirit within me. May 2021 be the foundation and the beginning of something fantastic as you surrender to God's work in your life. And so, Lord, today we come before you and we pray, may you reveal to us things, circumstances that are hindering us from growing and becoming the new person that you want us to become. Create in us, O oh God, a clean heart. May we walk humbly in your presence and may you do a new thing in all of our lives is my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Let's go forward and take 2021 in the name of the Lord as he creates us to be new cre creations in him. And may his glory flow into your life and touch and influence people all around you. Have a great day. God bless you. And we'll see you again soon. Amen.